Hello and good morning. Welcome to our sign language class. Your teacher here is teacher J. I'm ready to teach you and take you through our sign language lesson. But before we start our class, there are several things that we must ask ourselves. What is sign language? Have you ever wondered how deaf people communicate? In Kenya, we have different languages, but today I want us to discuss about sign language. Now, deaf people, they have their own language that they use to communicate. But today, I'm going to explain about what is Kenyan Sign Language. Kenyan Sign Language, it is a language that is used by deaf people here in Kenya. If you go to Uganda, they have their own sign language. If you go to Tanzania, they have Tanzanian Sign Language. But today, we will discuss about Kenyan Sign Language. What is Kenyan Sign Language? Kenyan Sign Language is the language that is used by deaf people here in Kenya to communicate. But Sign Language, we can still explain that it's a visual, gestural language that uses manual and non-manual symbols to represent ideas, concept by deaf people in Kenya. We can also say sign language is just like normal language or any other language that we use. Why do we say so? It is because sign language, it, is, it uses its own rule, it has its own grammatical rule, sentence structure, and many other things. But for this sign language to happen, it must have four elements of a sign. That sign can never be complete without the four elements. Element number one, we have what we call hand shape. Hand shape. Number two, we have what we call place of articulation. Number three, we have movement. And number four, we have what we call orientation. Now, I want us to discuss about handship. What is handship? We can say handship is the shape of the hand that we use to make up a sign. In this handship, we have different types of hand shape. Different types of hand shape. We have the first one, we have what we call extended index finger. Extended index finger, that is one type of the handshake. We have another one called open palm. Open palm. This is the first one. We have the second one. We have the third one. There are, there are supposed to be six of them. We have the third one, which we call A shape. A shape, we have number four, we call C, C shape. We have number five, we call it claw hand. We have number six, which we call crunch. There are six of them. For this to take place,
For the signing to take place, you must have all these types of handshake. Now, we have talked about orientation. What is orientation? Or what is phrase of articulation? Let's start with that one. For this handshake to move or to take place, the, the hand must be placed in a specific place in the body. And that specific place is what we are calling the handshake. Is that we are calling the hand, the place of articulation, sorry. For that handshake to be placed, there must be that place of articulation. And we always say, before you sign, there is what we call the signing space. And the signing space, it starts from here to here. So for your hands to move, or for the handshake to be placed, there must be that specific area within your body where that sign is supposed to take place. The first one, the plane of articulation. I will start, we have the forehead, which is here. We have the chest, and we have the shoulder, and any other different parts of the body. I want to give you an example, because the elements, those four elements, if you alter just one element, the sign changes. I want to give you an example of one. We have what we call please. Viewers, this is how we say please. This is how we say please. Where is the place of articulation? It is on the chest. What about the hand shape? The hand shape is open palm. This open palm, it makes the sign please. Where is the place? Where is that sign taking place? It is taking place on the chest. So the place of articulation is on the chest here. What about the movement? Remember we've talked the movement and we have already talked about the orientation. Where is the movement? The movement is circular movement. How my hand is moving. The word please is on a circular movement. What about the orientation? It, the, 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 yes, the orientation. It is making different moves, the direction that the hand is taking. Now, this is sign for please. You get to see it is open palm. We have another sign, sorry. How do we sign sorry? Sorry, it is signed using the clenched fist. This is the clenched fist. This being the clenched fist, you sign it like this, sorry. Where is the, move, the place of articulation? It is on the chest. The place of articulation is on the chest. Now, movement. It is also in a circular movement. But what about orientation? The same. But if you confuse, you say please, and you want them to say sorry, the meaning changes. Now, I want to show you the fingers that they, they present the handshake. We have said we have the handshake which is, the, we are saying, is the shape of the hand that you take when you are coming up your side. We talked about the extended index finger. Which is this finger? Extended index finger, this one. The finger that you use to point to someone, it is what we call extended index finger, which is this one. What about the open palm? Is this palm, when it is open, the one that you use to slap someone, that is there, open palm. Then we have the A shape. This is what we call the A shape. This is what we call the A shape. Then we have the C shape, which is this one. Let us see the C shape. We have uh, finally, not finally, but we have what we call the claw hand. This is what we call the claw hand. This one, the claw hand. And finally, we have the crest fist, which is this one. Crest fist. This crunched fist, we have signs that are made using the crunch fist. Example, when you crisscross your hands using the ball crunch fist, like this, this is a sign for love. Viewers, let's speak, this is a sign for love. But when you sign using the open palm, both hands, and you crisscross your, uh, feet, your, uh, your palm, like this, this is friend. You get the difference. If you want to say, I love you, then you say, I love you. You are saying, I friend you. Because you have already changed the, the handshake. When you do this, this, this is what you call friend.
but when you close your hands together with letter S, this is love. Viewers, let's repeat love. When we go to claw hand, claw hand, which is this one, the sign that I'm made using the claw hand, we have letter this one, claw hand, like for rain, rain, rain. We use the hand shape, yeah, claw hand. Then we have the A shape, A shape, which is this one. A sign made using the A shape, we have any and other. Any other, any other. Dear viewers, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. It is enjoyable, and I believe when we'll be meeting next time, you will have practiced uh, the above topic that we discussed today. Because when we come next lesson, we are going to cover about the the, the finger spelling and numbers, so that you can be able to finger spell your name and also to make some sign. Thank you, viewers, for watching us. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Write a comment to us, share, and we will enjoy. May God bless you all.